Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Cookery Nation. Today we're going to cook slow cooker rice pudding. It can't get any easier than this recipe. You get the ingredients, put it in the slow cooker, and let the slow cooker do its thing. Let's get started right away. Okay, if you have a slow cooker, this is an awesome tool for making things like rice pudding. The key to using a slow cooker is throw your ingredients in and let it do the work. So what we're going to do before we start mixing our ingredients is get our mise en place ready. And this helps us to remember what we've used, make sure we use everything, make sure that we've got all the ingredients before we even get started. So I've got my mise en place. First thing you're going to do is lightly grease the bowl of your slow cooker and you can use a spray if you like. I like to just use butter and just make sure you've got a nice little coating on the bottom and part way up the sides. And this will just make cleanup a lot easier. So once we've got this greased nicely, put this away. Now we're going to start assembling the rice pudding. One thing I want to make mention of is with the rice, you're going to be using medium grain rice, not long grain rice. If you opt for long grain rice, it will still be crunchy when your slow cooker time is done. So the first thing you do with your rice is you rinse it under cold water to get some of the excess starch out of the way. Okay, so now we've got our rice rinsed and drained and we can just set it aside for now. We're going to get some of our other ingredients put together. So we're going to be using three and a quarter cups of milk and you can use whole milk or skim milk or one or two percent milk. I wouldn't go any higher than whole milk, however. And we're going to add our sugar and I just use the measuring cup I'm using. If your measuring cup isn't big enough, then feel free to transfer it to a different cup. And what you want to do is be able to get the sugar dissolved. So let's get a little whisk. And we're just going to give it a stir in the milk. That's all. And then we're just going to start adding our other ingredients. We've got our salt. And we've got our, let's throw our vanilla in. And our nutmeg. Now it'll look like the nutmeg's not going to mix in very well, but don't worry about it. It'll combine well within the slow cooker. Okay, so now we've got these. Now we're going we're gonna to put this into the base of the slow cooker. Do not pour it from really up high. It'll splash everywhere. Get it down into the slow cooker and pour it. It tends to want to splash. Okay, so that's done. We just need to put our rice in. Get all of it. And our raisins. Now, some people don't like raisins in their rice pudding and that's fine, you don't need to use them. If you're going to be making a large batch of rice pudding and you want to freeze it, I would advise you do not put the raisins in. They tend to get really hard and dry once you freeze them. So if you're going to want to freeze rice pudding with raisins, just add the raisins when you're ready to eat. And what I like to do is I'll just take my raisins and put them in a little bit of warm water for about 10 minutes. That will plump them up just like they get in the rice pudding. Then go ahead and add them to your rice pudding. Now I'm not freezing this batch. So I'm going to add my raisins. There we go. And you know what? That's all there is to it. We're going to put the lid on this and we're going to let it cook for two and a half hours on high. And then we're going to let it rest, not keeping warm, but rest with no heat for 40 minutes. Once it's done resting, your rice pudding will be ready.
So our rice pudding cooked for two and a half hours on high in the slow cooker and then it rested without heat for 40 minutes. So when you open that up, this is what you're going to see. And all you need to do is give it a stir and combine all of your ingredients. And you end up with this beautiful, smooth, sweet rice pit pudding. Give it a try. We hope you like it. Okay, so that was our rice pudding. Put it in the slow cooker and let it do all the work. If you store the rice pudding in the fridge because you have some leftovers, keep in mind that it will thicken up uh, over time. So you'll just want to add a little bit of milk to loosen it up. And if you like it cold, great. Otherwise, you can warm it up and enjoy it that way. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and you gave it a try. Come and visit us at cookerynation.com.